Article 21. Motion reads, move that the town amend chapter 68, section 68-2, the code of the town of Hadley, by deleting the phrase, a quorum of 100 voters shall be required for carrying on any business at an annual or special town meeting, and replacing it with, a quorum of 50 voters shall be required to carry out any business at the annual or special town meeting. Do I have a motion? Second. Motion has been moved and seconded. Any questions? You got a question or a statement? And whose crazy idea is this? 50 people? Any special interest group could come in here and pass everything, we're stuck with it. That, that's kind of right, John. I mean, if you want to look like a dummy, bring 400 people to a town meeting and tell them you need 50. I hear you. But um, over the course of the last 10 years, people seek me out uh, um, to concern their uh, to give me their concerns over uh, items that are related to the town, and I tell them to come to town meeting. And I get a litany of excuses why I can't attend. When I was the MAP moderator, I attended annual moderator meetings and seminars. During one of these, there was a table talk discussion, and I asked for suggestions as to how to improve town meeting. Uh, as usual, they talked about baby off offering babysitting, offering rides, make sure you have food available. Uh, but there was a few less obvious suggestions uh, that came from that. One was the consent order, which we used earlier this evening, where we took six articles, combined them into one, and got right through that, and hopefully allows us to get quicker through town meeting. Another one of those um, that I brought back from that um, was to drop the quorum. And I said to the people at the table, I said, I just don't see the logic in dropping a quorum when I'm trying to get more people to a town meeting. And they explained to me that... Um, if you ensured that town meeting started promptly, which we didn't tonight, but that was because there was a lot of people coming in the room. But traditionally, we don't have 412 people at an annual town meeting. We have between 117 and 135. So we either gotta put small houses or libraries on every single time to fill the joint, <laughs> or we gotta try to find a, a, you know, a little better way to do it. Um, if there's a quorum of 50, that means you could start your meeting at seven o'clock, you can get it going and get through the town's business very quickly. And also, um, later in the evenings, um, as we approach 10, 11 o'clock, um, we start to get close to our quorum of 100, where you know, if somebody was to uh, be a little crafty, they could tell us that there's less than 100 people in this room, we're not able to talk to, oh, it's not a secret, Brian, <laughs> that, that, that there is a way for people to manipulate the way that gets done. So uh, I'm advocating uh, that we set our, uh, our quorum to 50, that we be able to start at seven o'clock and get through the town's business as quickly as we can and to get more people to our town meeting because we're gonna be running more efficiently. Uh, and just another um, thing just to point out to you, South Deerfield has a quorum of 35, Sunderland has a quorum of zero and averages 147 people at each town meeting. Belcher Town, three times the size of Hadley, has a quorum of 75, Granby has a quorum of 30, Hatfield has a quorum of 35. So it's not completely uh, out of the order for this. Um, and I'm just trying to you know, help us be a little more efficient. I just didn't pick a very good night. Thank you. Yes. Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge Street. I hate to admit it, but I kind of uh, agree with Johnny. This is not one of the better ideas that came out of this office. The idea is in, in, with 100 people, if we get a zoning article change, two thirds of a majority is 67. If you get a quorum of 50, two thirds of a majority would be 34. It would be much more easier to put a motion through on town floor that may not be in the, in the town's best interest. I really don't think that this is a good idea to lower the quorum. It's up to all of us, and including everybody in the front tables there, to make sure they're doing their job and to get people to come to meetings. Democracy is supposed to not be easy. It's just supposed to be people are supposed to work at it. So I would urge people to defeat this article. Thank you. Thank you. Choice West 219 Bay Road. I 
agree with Edwin Matusko. We should have 400 people at every town meeting, every special meeting. You don't just come when there's one little item you want. I've been coming here many, many times, and I've waited for quorums, and I've run the ball fields, and I'm dragging on. But I'm going to tell you, you cannot, please don't do this. This town has too many concerns. Too many things coming up. We need the quorum of 100. Maybe we should raise the quorum for the population. That's where I would go. Please vote no on this. Call the question. We have a, we have a motion to call the question. We have a second. We got a second. All of, uh, we're going to vote on the motion to call the question. All in favor of calling the question, raise your gray card. Opposed? Abstentions? One, two, okay. We're, we're, motion passes, so we are now going to move to the original motion, which is changing the quorum from 100 to 50. All in favor, raise your gray card. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Doesn't look good, Jerry. Ten. <laughs> okay, thank you. All opposed? Motion fails. Jerry, you got to trot that one out when there's like 110 people here, not 400. It's not going to work. When I was on the select board and we had the great quorum debate, we even had the debate to not have it televised because, heaven forbid, people would stay home and watch. I said, all we got to do is pick out the most controversial thing you can ever do in this town, slap it on the warrant, people walk in, and then they get all fired up to vote, and you pass over it, and you're like, well, thanks for coming to the meeting for two hours. I mean, this is, there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat. <laughs> Article, we're moving on. Article 22, motion reads, Move that the town amend chapter 68, section 68-3, the code of the town of Hadley by deleting the sentence, the annual town meeting for the transactions of other town businesses shall be held on the first Thursday evening in May at 7 p.m. and replacing it with the annual town meeting for transactions of other town businesses shall be held on the first Saturday in May at 10 a.m. We have a motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Mr. Waskevitz. This is his brainchild, I believe. <laughs> okay, this is similar to Jerry's, but not the same. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what we were looking at was just to get more people into the town meetings. And after researching this, there, there are a lot of other towns that do have meetings on Mondays, on Fridays, on Tuesdays. Uh, there's 13 or so that do have them on Saturdays. The time may be changed at, right here on the floor if, if we were to move it to Saturdays, say 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Here we are at 10 o'clock at night already looking at probably another hour for the rest of these articles. You were going to move faster? Okay. But anyway, it was just a, a, an idea that a few of the citizens <clears throat> have brought forward, and I said, well, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. So I guess we'll see in a minute here. <laughs> <laughs> so. Questions? Yeah, Shell Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. I have some sentiment in favor of having town meeting in day rather than evening, particularly as our population ages, but Saturday morning is a terrible time to do it. Uh, number one, you have immediately excluded any Orthodox Jewish family from participating in their civic duty, and there is at least one Orthodox Jewish family in town, and no, they don't live in my house. <laughs> number two, um, in May, that is farmer's market season. We have a very active community of farmers in this town. I, I know from personal experience that I have seen a number of Hadley farmers at both the Amherst and the Northampton markets. They would have to choose between their civic duty and their business. Number three, the particular Saturday chosen is typically the day of the Pride March in Northampton. People again would have to be 
choosing to do their civic duty in one or the other places because we haven't figured out cloning yet. So if we're going to have it in the daytime on a weekend, maybe Sunday afternoon might be better, but not certainly the second Saturday in May. As far as farmers, I'd like to point out a lot of farmers have to work this time of year on Saturdays. And I, so we'd probably be excluding some of them also. And this is a wonderful town for farmers. Thank you. Andy, Andy Morris, Reuben, 45 Roosevelt Street. How about 6.30 in the morning on Saturday? <laughs> uh, I talked to Edwin about it. He says he's fine with that. <laughs> Ken Parker, 118 Mount Water Road. I think it's a terrible idea. Um, it's Mother's Day weekend. Uh, you've got so many things going on with all the kids and everything. And I think it's a terrible idea. That's, that's four or five no's right there, John. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm Dina Friedman, 16 Barstow Lane. I am also would vote no. It's not only the Orthodox Jews would not come because they couldn't come, but the other Jewish members of the Jewish community who it would be the time that they would be going to synagogue. And I wouldn't... I wouldn't Imagine that ever people would imagine having a meeting Sunday morning when a lot of people were going to church. So I think that's something to think about. Also, if you're going to have a meeting on a weekend day, don't have it in May. Have it in February. In May, we want to be outside on the weekends. We don't want to be sitting in a room for three hours. Thank you. Hold on. The author of the motion is... Okay, I, I, I do to happen to agree with you a little bit. Maybe if we move this to May, we would have the town meeting before the election and we could get through this maybe a little bit quicker in the winter season. And she, I believe she said February. I, I know, I said March, but it's open on town meeting. I think you're so so confused, Mr. Weskevich. You need to go back to the drawing That's board. That's right, right. And tonight's, tonight's show was all the reason why we should have it at, at where it is. Move the question. Do I have a second to move the question? Yes, there you go. There we go. All in favor of moving the questions, raise your gray card. Opposed? Okay. We're going we're gonna to vote on the motion. The motion is to move the meeting from the first Thursday in May at 7 to the first Saturday in May at 10 a.m. All in favor, please raise your gray card. Hold them up high. I got to get an accurate count. Thank you. All opposed, raise your gray card. Thank you. Abstentions. Oh, he got you there, Jerry. He's got three abstentions. Motion fails.